What's up, Rockstars and Lambs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Rockstars and Lambs uh, by Josh Cooley in Pueblo, Colorado. I wanted to um, take the time to say thank you so much for um, checking out the YouTube channel and the blogs. I've been really busy trying to get ready for my trip to California. Um, the time has come. It is um, tomorrow I leave. I'm coming into the salon briefly to do a couple haircuts for some really amazing people. And then um, after that, I'm going to uh, get on a plane and go to um, Oakland. I'll land in Oakland tomorrow about 10.30ish, mm, their time, so it's late. And then I have meetings starting at 8 the next morning, so I'm a little over that, uh, but we'll see. So, anyway, I'm back, back, back to Josh status and regular Josh attitude. December was kind of a stupid month, I didn't like it so much. So, it took time to um, look at everything, all the way from the blogs to the video blog to the way I even conduct myself on Facebook. So, let's run it down real quick. If you're on Facebook, you're always going to get links to my blogs, Rockstar Slums and Pretty World Fabulous Life. I love doing the blogs, there's just some stuff that I can't talk about on Facebook. I like to hint in my blogs. The Fabulous Life one, Pretty World Fabulous Life, is about my personal life and behind the scenes stuff and life lessons. If you read my column, Living Fabulously, that's for young kids. Rockstar Slums is all about everything trendy and beauty, fashion, and just things that I think about all the time. And I like it a lot. It's a lifestyle blog. It makes me the happiest to do. Um, the other thing is that the YouTube channel is just really very venti and when I go through and I look at videos from November and December I'm not pleased with a lot of the content in them because I see a hurt victim you know I gotta get out of that mentality because I can't handle being around people like that and I'm not one of those people I'm way better than that so I wanted to let you know that for every video that you see we're gonna limit stuff I even made myself a little guide lambs you would love it um, I can talk about work one work thing one creative thing um, one vent only one per video because <laughs> that's unloading too much um, An affirmation is what I would like to um, sign off at. So, guys, let me know if you really like the, the the new format. And so, I would like to let you know that work is really amazing. Tomorrow, I go to California. I will be back in my salon next Wednesday, um, January tenth. Wait, January 9th, Sorry, um, and I will probably be jet lagged, but I'll be here that afternoon. And there are so many amazing new goodies from Joyco that I can't wait to show you. They've totally redone all their stylers. They've repackaged their shampoos and their treatments. And um, the formulation for K-Pack is still the same. I'm really excited. We've also got the launch of Minardi, um, Beth Minardi Signature Shades. It's a brand new color line by my color mentor, Beth Minardi. I'm super uber excited and I can't wait to try it on you because I've heard that the shine is terrific. The shine from Joyco Color, which manufactures it, it's just as great. But Beth is a master at what she does. It would be the equivalent to working with Vidal Sassoon these days. Although he is a genius of cutting, she's a genius of color. So I'm super excited about that. So the other thing I wanted to let you know in my little creative world, I am knocking them off. Look at me, I'm being a good boy. The thing in my creative world that I'm working on right now is that I've been working on my book and getting the skeleton ready for the book. It has taken me months to go through columns of hot mess and go through writings through the blogs and things. And there's times when I start a chapter and it becomes a story about my life. And then there's times when I talk about fashion faux pas. So I'm trying to figure out what the theme and the voice that's what the publishers want. What the voice of the hot mess book is supposed to be. I also kind of got stuck writing um, a really fun comedy, um, stand-up comedy thing. And I called it, Dear God, This is Josh. <laughs> And it has a lot of jokes about my mom, my family, and food. Because <laughs> I eat a lot. I'm a fat kid. I'm like 18% body fat. But I'm just waiting for them to explode. <laughs> and so I've been writing a bunch of creative little things like that. And it's actually warmed my heart. I thought it was going to take December to just incubate and have all these really cool thoughts going on. And then I like overthought. As a Virgo, I tend to overanalyze and I think too much about people. Which brings me to my vent. My vent for all of you is this. Don't give one person your power. Oh my God, don't give one person your power. I have given my power to some of the worst people in the entire world, and I've given my power to some of the most trusted individuals in my life. One thing I can tell you is that the revelation that I found through the month of December, after Thanksgiving and going all the way into New Year's is that um, I can't put all my eggs in one basket because what happens, if the ba what happens if the basket falls and all my eggs break? That's how I felt all of December. 
smushed eggs, not scrambled, not cooked, not nothing. It was not a good feeling, and I'm back to normal, and I just want to be a really great person, but my vent is to honestly not put any pride into one person. I think sometimes I put too much on my friends, and I put too much on one particular person, so I am going to take about 12 steps back from like 15, and um, give some space. There you go. That was a hint. So, my affirmation for all of you before I wind up this video is that in 2013, as I was drinking um, wine and going to sleep, I was sad listening to Lana Del Rey, which doesn't help, by the way. Don't listen to her when you're sad. But something that I liked was that I said I was going to be open to things. And I said, if you remember during Rosh Hashanah last year, that I was going to be open to love and I was going to be open to traveling and sharing more. Well, 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 wouldn't you know that I've had an opportunity to share, and um, I'm open to a lot of things. I even said that in a video a couple times ago, that I'm open to love. Um, I don't know. I can't hint too much. Something that I can tell you is to check out the Studio J. Wright blog, uh, Pretty World Fabulous Life, inside Studio J. Wright. It's like being in my mind. It's like my diary all over the internet for you to see, but I love for you guys to see it. So go to studiojwright.blogspot.com. Don't forget to check out rockstarslums.blogspot.com. And, of course, you can get a hold of me at joshcooley.com. Love you to pieces. I will see you either in sunny California or after I come back from California. Mwah. I love you to pieces, Lance. Bye-bye.